Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to do another flow. We are going to create another flow and let's take a look at our business requirement. So Deepika is working as a system administrator at my tutorial rack. Deepika's manager requested her to create a form that looks like this. Okay. And it should enter records into this registered user object in Salesforce. Okay. So this is not a standard object. So this is the first thing is we need to create this custom object and the screen should look like this. So you can see here it is asking you for the first name, last name and email. So it has to be an email format and then it's a list of uh, displaying the country and then there is a text field for city. So this is how the requirement is looking like. So we need to create a screen which looks like this which takes in the first name, last name, email address, the country, and it's a pick list. And then we have a text field to capture the city. And we're going to make some enhancements later on in this particular flow. But the overview is we're going to create this first screen. Now, the next thing what we need to do is in order to start with this flow, the first important point is we need to create our custom object. So this is going to be our custom object and this custom object will have these fields. So there's going to be another field that I missed one called city and this is going to be a text and even the state is going to be a text. Only country is going to be a pick list. Okay. And then we have email field and then first name and the last name field. So let's go ahead and create this custom object. So the first thing we'll go back to our Salesforce and here under the object manager, we will create a new custom object and we'll call it as registered users. And the plural label is also going to be just leave it register user and then here the API name and then this is going to be registered users. Okay, so think of it like a lead, but I'm just trying to see how we can enter records into a custom object and we're going to make a more enhanced view. So this is going to be the object information. Then we are entering the registered users name or here I'm going to make it at registered user ID and uh, it's going to be an auto number and we can say user or we can say you and then have this starting with one. And we want to allow all of this. So we'll go ahead and just be on the safe side. We'll choose all the optional features. And I also want to create a custom tab. So let's go ahead and hit the save. And then the tab style that I'm going to pick would be people. So I'm just going to go ahead and look for if there is anything with the people in here. This one. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. And then hit the next button. And uh, hit next and let's just add this tab into currently all the applications just for now okay and then hit the save here so what i've done is i have created my registered user object and now i'm going to add the fields so these are the standard set of fields that all automatically came now the next thing is i'm going to add the fields to capture the first name and last name so i'm going to go ahead and uh, choose the text field here and this is going to be called next and we're going to call it as the first name then the length would be let's say 50 not more than 50 characters long and uh, next and then it's visible to all of these hit next and then save and new now the next field is also going to be a text field so i'm going to go ahead and choose the text here and uh, hit the next and this is going to be for last name and the length again is going to be 50 characters hit next and visible and then next save and new the next field is to capture the email so there is a field to capture the email so i'm going to go ahead and choose that field and then hit the next this is going to be the email field next save and new and then the other field would be a pick list, which will have the list of all the countries to choose from. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and select the pick list here. The name of the pick list field is country and uh, it's going to be values that we're going to add. So let's say we go ahead and get list of countries. Okay, rather than typing everything, we're going to go ahead and uh, list of countries 
let's just put it in an excel sheet don't hang up let me go ahead and so we got all of this i'm going to remove all the hyperlinks let's just copy this whole column and uh, let's go back here to our registered user close all of these unnecessary tabs and i'm going to go ahead and paste it over here okay so these are the complete list of countries that are available so let me just make sure we have uh, united states in there the important one and then here i'm going to go ahead and hit next so this is the complete list of countries so here and then we have next and save now i can use the address and all that but i just want to keep it simple here so we have all these fields created and then the other one i'm going to create is a state field okay let's see that is it so i'm going to go ahead and uh, choose text field okay i'm not going to go ahead and choose another one so i'm going to go ahead and choose a text field and hit the next and here is for the state okay and length would be let's say 50 hit next and uh, next and save so now what i've done is i have created all the fields of this registered user object so let's go ahead and uh, go over to that registered user object here and then go ahead and click on new and over here you can see this is how the layout looks like you have entered your first name last name email and then it has to be an email format and then we have all the list of countries here okay so you can go ahead and if you want to click on anything you can choose the list of countries you want and let's say i want to go to india i want to look for india here so i'm gonna choose i and then it'll take me to the first letter here so the pick list is working fine state is a text field now what we're going to do is the same exact flow this is an object that you have created but we're going to go ahead and insert records into this object through the flow okay so the link to the flow will be given to the users and they'll go ahead and enter the information which will create records under this object so the first thing is i need to create a new flow and uh, the screen will look like this okay so as i shown you in the flow requirement this is how the screen flow should look like so a couple of things that we're going to learn is how to display the complete pick list that we have over here and then also how we're going to have an email field displayed and then this first name last name field etc we're going to learn about a lot more new things in this as part of the example so we'll continue working on this flow in the next tutorial so i'm going to see you then thank you so much